I love them. They're my kids. You can hear the sincerity in Andy Rogan's voice. When you ask her about her foster kids, either the one she's welcoming into her family currently or the children she's embraced over the years, she loves speaking about the fulfilling moments she shared with them. They find out things about what it's like to be a family and trust and rely on each other and be open and honest with each other. Over the last six years, Rogan has fostered eight kids of different ages. Oftentimes they come from trauma, having been removed from a home life that wasn't safe. Rogan says she and her husband and their biological son Jack witness kids succeed and grow by providing them a loving home, structure, and a listening ear. It's like a feeling of proudness because like I'm just really happy that they have grown as a person just over the course of being here and I just know that they will be able to continue growing with the tools that we gave them. Rogan became a foster parent through KBC Kansas, where child placing director Jessica Elliott says the nonprofit desperately needs more families, specifically for kids with mental health and behavioral issues. She says the need became much more urgent in the last few years since the state legislature eliminated the need for the juvenile justice system, leaving the foster care system struggling to handle an influx of kids with elevated needs. Since then, she says the state has seen some improvement. Our number of kids in foster care has dropped drastically, which is great, which means we're doing good prevention work up front and we're really putting in the efforts to keep families together whenever it's safe to do so. So why don't more families want to be foster parents? With the shift in the type of homes KBC needs right now, Elliot doesn't sugarcoat it. Families are scared. It's hard and um, it's a lot of work, but it's it's what we need right now. It, that's where we're at. KBC is actively recruiting families for treatment foster care to take kids after they've received treatment at the Niles Residential Facility. The center serves kids with mental health needs either in foster care or at risk. Amanda Everson, child placing director for KBC Missouri, says kids often make a lot of improvement at Niles, but will start to regress if they have nowhere to go when they're ready for discharge. They are the kids that really need families, they need us the most um, and are going through things that we couldn't even imagine. And so for them to feel unwanted or unloved or that they have nowhere to go um, is really devastating. This is the music therapy room here at the Niles Prep School where kids get the chance to express themselves through music. It's just one of the many therapeutic activities available to them. While KBC Niles has a vast list of resources and services for kids. All right, addition 11 plus 7. The one thing that can help them even more are families with loving homes. KBC stresses it provides in-depth training and resources to families like Andy Rogan, who says she appreciates the support. She hopes anyone interested in becoming a foster parent will reach out to KBC and learn more. While she's shared her home with a handful of children over the years, the most rewarding part always remains the same. Seeing them succeed, seeing them find themselves, seeing them enjoy life, that there's a different way of life. In Kansas City, Emma James, KSHB 41 News.